Okay, so I'm Andy Herring. I'm in biochemical engineering. My research is pretty much anything you can talk to about energy. Um, for this, uh, for this MERSEC, I lead IOG2, which um, is concerned with energy conversion, with ion transport in membranes, for fuel cells, batteries, membrane reactors, um, all sorts of other things. Um, so basically, we are, we're concerned with fuel cells. Um, we are trying to develop fuel cell membranes that operate under hotter and drier conditions. Um, there are a number of reasons to do that. We're mostly concerned with removing the um, you know, operation the humidifier that basically um, is a control problem because if you get water everywhere, everything freezes, then it's like Yosemite and the, the catalyst layer cleans off and the fuel cell turns to mush. So we don't want water in the system, plus it's an additional parasitic load and it's, it's um, something to get rid of. Turns out though, even though fundamentally that's what we're trying to do in the auto industry, I only care is really about durability, so we may be looking at that as well. And we also have a, a new project starting with NREL, Actually, actually, I mentioned the other two projects that are very much involved with 3M Corporation, looking at the catalyst, because basically the biggest problem is that the um, fuel cell needs too much platinum, and if we can reduce the platinum. Currently, the, the fuel cell in the vehicle needs half, 10 times as much platinum as you can considerably um, have at the moment in your catalytic converter. Obviously, we can afford the precious metals in the catalytic converter, so if we reduce the amount of platinum tenfold, then we'll have a commercially viable fuel cell, so that the third project is involved in that. Personal interests. <laughs> you like coffee? I like coffee. It's the summer, so I ride my bike a lot. I'm slowly ticking off the Colorado Centennial Peaks. I have a deliberate policy of never going up normal way, so you probably don't want to go hiking with me, because it usually involves not just hiking. <laughs> and in the winter, I basically spend my entire life skiing when I'm not working here. 